And welcome to Learning from Leaders, your host, Patrick Dewar, Dewar Success Systems. I'm so thankful for you listening tonight. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to market without money. In fact, that's what this show is really all about. Who should be watching this show? That's a big question that I know a lot of people are probably asking. What would Patrick Dewar have to offer you as a, a watcher of this TV show? Well, entrepreneurs or home-based business owners really should be watching. And the reason is, is that I'm going to be teaching tools and techniques that will help you market without money or market with less money than you ever thought possible. So much of what we're going to do in this show is interview guests and leaders from around the country that are going to teach you tools and techniques and that they're using in their business. I'm going to avoid as much as possible the whole concept of theory. I want to bring to you the ideas and tools that can help you grow your business right now. So when we talk about learning from leaders, we're talking about leaders in business, guys that are earning a million dollars a year or more in their business. I think that's a good start. Um, and then also um, business owners, in the, in the, not just in the Metroplex, but throughout the nation, that are doing something significant and different in their field that makes them unique and special. Learning from leaders is really for salespeople and managers of salespeople that want to know how to market in this web 2.0 world that we're going into. I mean, how many of us have been barraged with uh, everything from Facebook to LinkedIn to MySpace to, to Twitter? And, and for a lot of us, we're already working so many hours a week that the idea of sitting online for any length of time after hours is not real appealing and yet there are millions of people that are in that arena. One of the things that you'll find is in, in, in Facebook, there's like 30 million people that are on Facebook, which is unreal. And, but MySpace has like 10 times that many. And for a lot of entrepreneurs out there, a lot of business owners, we're trying to figure out how to, to, to do it right. See, when, when I was growing up in the sales world, when I was in my tw 20s and 30s, the way we would sell was we actually went door to door. What a novel idea. Today, we, we'd think somebody that was dropping in unexpectedly was, was uh, kind of a strange intruder. And yet, that's something that we've kind of lost something to. And we want to make sure that we're bringing the tools and techniques and ways of helping you grow your business in a real dramatic way to you, the business owner, the salesperson, and the manager, and the entrepreneur. One of the things that uh, we also see in today is a lot of people have been laid off or are in transition. That's kind of the buzzword now is transition. Well, that's another area where a lot of people are, have been laid off from industries that have so severely downsized that the concept of uh, getting back into that area is almost unthinkable because the market is so saturated. If that's the case, then um, you guys need to look at what can you do to raise some revenue in this transition time period. And we'll be teaching things about that as well. You'll notice that I've, I've got a chair next to me. One of the things that I want to make sure is that you know that that chair is available for leaders in uh, throughout the country. Uh, I actually will be bringing guests on the show that I've met from the audience, uh, from my audience out there. So if you're interested in being a guest on the, on the show, then email me. And you'll email me, and I'll give my email a little later in the show, or it'll be across the, the bottom at some point. Just make sure you write it down and you email me why you'd want to be on the show. One of the things that I'm real excited about, though, not only in, in being able to interview some of the best minds in the, in the country, is bringing to you my own experience. And you might be asking, well, who's Patrick Dewar? Well, speaker, author, radio show host, and uh, mastermind developer in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. That's been some of my past. But really, I started speaking about 10 years ago as a, um, after I saw this little interview-like thing on, uh, at a, a, a weekend called The Road Adventure. It's a, 
a multi-weekend uh, seminar, kind of like Dr. Still on steroids. So with that, I, I had this little spiritual gifts or internal gifts test that I took. And it, it, it just showed me that teaching was my gift. Well, I believe that your gift makes a place for you. And so I just began to try it out. Now, I didn't think I was smart enough to be a teacher, quite honestly. I might be a lot like some of you thinking, I couldn't sit in that chair because I wouldn't know what to say. You know, the funny thing was is that once you begin to use the gift that's in you, it really does open doors for you in a massive way. I was really surprised, in fact, that uh, I had loved to, to do accelerated learning. I'd listened to uh, the, the Bible so many times that it just was absurd. Um, and, and I studied church history. I just, I just loved it. I ate it like truffles. And so I went to a Bible study, and I just said, hey, look, I, uh, if you guys ever need a, a Sunday school teacher, um, I'll always have a lesson plan prepared, so just let me know. And they said, well, okay, how about Sunday? <laughs> and my eyes got, like, really big, and I'm like, oh, my God, uh, okay, I'll, I'll give it a whirl. And so I stepped up, and I began to teach 10 people, and that group grew to over 100. I began to speak all over the Metroplex in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, within a year, I was a director in the Road Adventure and was for almost 10 years now that I, was, that I was there. And then what began to happen after that, after the first few years, is that I really realized that my passion was teaching. I wanted to do it more than anything. Uh, I was in what I call Dilbertville. A lot of you may have been there before. It's cubicles and lots of lots of people in the corporate world. Well, if that's your story, then you can really relate to. It wasn't that satisfying. I would write an order for a hundred thousand dollars worth of equipment. Uh, it was uh, electronics equipment, and it was it was fun. It was good, but I, I could spend 20 minutes teaching somebody how to work in their, walk in their purpose and their passion. And like that, their life would change. And the ether, that, oh my God, moment that came from that was so invigorating, so thrilling, so over the top that I knew I wanted to do that every day. I'd come back from a three-day workshop that I was directing with so much energy, 11.30 at night, my wife would be going, would you shut up? <laughs> but I was so charged because I'd seen so many things happen that were dramatic and dynamic in the way that people were being changed. So what I, what I did after that is I, I remember I went to um, a, an event where I, somebody asked for a sample of some of my material, and I had a little short DVD of some of my work, so I, I sent it over to this organization, and <laughs> it, I got an an email and a contract back from the next the next day from a relatively um, unknown sales guy named Zig Ziglar. <laughs> I was blown away. I thought, you know, Zig Ziglar, my bio, yeah, I'll take it. And the reason is is that um, they were looking for people they could certify to present Zig's work around the country. I worked with Zig for about a year. It was a great experience. Zig is everything that he that you think he is on TV. If you think he's a good guy, because he is. Um, He's all of that and more. And I, I worked with him, and, and it was great. And then I went on to work with uh, other marketing greats like Dan Kennedy and some of the others out there, building a number of things. Um, eight networking groups in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, four mastermind groups. Um, I, I literally went on to, to start a radio show. And, uh, and I've done over 90 radio shows just in the last few years, interviewing leaders from all across the country, looking for tips and tools that could make the difference in your life as a listener. So when we talk about this stuff, it's not, again, it's not theory. It's getting to sit in the seat and learn and really be able to um, share tools and techniques to uh, the audience throughout the country. Um, and if you ever, if you did want to look, look at uh, or listen to some of the old shows, I've picked some of the best ones and put them on betterbizradio.com. So it's just www.betterbizradio.com. And um, then the, the last thing is that I was actually uh, able to be a uh, contributing author to a book called Manifest Success. It became a bestseller this recently, uh, and it's... Uh, a great honor to be in a, a group of leaders like that. One of the other things that uh, I want to make sure that you understand what we do at uh, Doer Success Systems and what my firm does as, as a whole is really I do marketing for you. 
um, I am hired out to uh, market for others in the, in, throughout the, the uh, country. Um, I do corporate training, um, create videos uh, to market your company on the internet to increase your internet presence. And I know that that's a, a, a lot to look at, but when you look at how powerful video is, you'll realize how important it is to have yourself on uh, video any way that you can. And I know a lot of us, we, we've kind of felt like we've been told we had a face for radio, and, and <laughs> you'll get that. And, uh, but the idea is that we really have to get past that, because right now, 60% of the bandwidth of the internet is video. And so we all need to get ourselves a little flip camera or something that we can sit in front of and begin to share our thoughts of what makes you great so that others can benefit from the, the real, um, the diamonds that are within each of us. If you've never heard the story of Acres of Diamonds, you, you should. Because if you're the type of person that has never realized the value that's within yourself, um, you, you need to begin to mine yourself and look for the good that's there. Too many times we look for the bad that's there, we find that in, in ample supply. But the fact is, is that most of us have tons and tons of diamonds, just wealth that hasn't been brought to the surface and, uh, and, then, and then offered to the marketplace. And that's what we really do for people, is make them shine on the internet. Um, the business owners really, you know, that want to grow are going to see what I'm doing and want to be involved. That's something that a lot of people don't really understand, but I will tell you that video, um, being a guest on a show like this, would make all the difference in your marketing and your business development. Why? Because it's so much easier to, um, to, to track on the internet. Google is going to find a video very, very quickly. Uh, it's going to find it easier and be more effective in, in increasing your rankings um, than a whole bunch of articles. And that's something that a lot of people don't realize. Authors introducing their books may want, will want to be on a show like this because they'll create an infomercial for themselves. And then speakers that are really needing to, to a video to get their story into the marketplace to get, um, to, to get booked more often. All of those are just some of the key components of what people need to have. With, uh, within their marketing, in a sense, arsenal. What would you do with a show like this? Well, you could burn it to DVD. Obviously, I'm going to give you a, a guess to that. But even beyond that, you want to upload that to your, to your website. You want to create an emailable link on that. And you want to upload that to YouTube. But there's so much more that you can do. That's something that a lot of people don't even realize, that once you get the video, um, you can send it to existing clients, prospects, past clients, and try to reactivate them, or like I say, raise the dead. Um, because they're people that you can, you, you should, they know you, they've bought from you, and the easiest person to resell to are people that have already purchased from you. And uh, offer it as a, uh, a part of a press kit to introduce yourself. All of these are just ideas to help you get um, really your message into the marketplace. One of the things that um, a lot of people have not tapped into is the social media. Now if you, you take a video like this, you put it in, uh, reduce it to an emailable link, and you can upload that link, you can insert that link on Facebook, you can put, put it to, uh, send it out on LinkedIn, Twitter, um, and several other social media sites just to help you get your message into the marketplace. You can write about it on blogs and then submit the, the, the uh, articles to, to blogs around the country. Um, in posting blogs, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is how, um, how often you need to, to, to add to a blog or if you should even have a blog. Some people are going, what's a blog? It's, a, it's, it's basically uh, your thoughts in print on the internet is what it really ends up being. But it's a, a form of communication between you.